Hey, it's your reigning supreme, the dog queen. Welcome back to my channel. Cause I'm the fucking supreme. So yes, I'm back at my dorm again. Um, so I do have those two because I did see the FNAF movie. It is, I'm filming this the week after it came out. So you're probably not gonna see this until like a month or two. Um, so I have those two now. Um, I do plan on getting all the chicas in this little Funko Snaps form because I, I don't know, I like them. They come with extra faces too. I just think they're cool. Um, and then, you know, Refresh Claudine had to come with me because I love her. Maybe I just like the characters with glasses. I don't know. But today we are looking at Scared Ice Island Heath because um, I need the next day delivery for a little pencil for my computer so I can do my classes, but then the pencil doesn't work with that computer, so it was all for nothing. Well, I guess not all for nothing because I have Heath now, because um, I had to get that $25 free overnight shipping. Um, and I, I looked at him, He's uh, he has a good screening, good everything, so I can take him out. He's in the uh, Slender Style box that we saw with the um, day out dolls um like you can see monster high embedded on that side then on this side oh never mind i switched it up a bit because on this side there was like different hearts for the main three but not on this one um and then on the back monster high has been swapped uh from the normal iridescent to like a little sunset pattern and it's so pretty and then scared ice island super cool logo and it just has all the sunset colors if you know me i love the sunset colors so it's just so pretty and then there's heath's artwork um it's fine and then i like his little logo and then on the back we can see heath right here with the rest of the line i do plan on getting these two at full price but i will be waiting for um laguna and frankie to go on sale because I love Laguna, but I can admit she was a pretty weak one. Um, so we have the Boo Crew is ready for a relaxing getaway on Scared Ice Island. Jackie, Laura, Claudine, and Frankie have packed all of the trip essentials, including SPF 5000, a hair raising beach read, and totally electrified smoothies. Even Heath Burns is bringing the tropical heat with his blazing hair and fire outfit. This vacation is sure to be filled with surf, sand, and plenty of scary fun ahead. And then it just has Heath Burns right there for some reason. Um, and then there is the barcode if you need it. These are supposed to be releasing in stores um, spring of 2024, but Amazon got them early, just like Quarry Fresh. So expect to see these in stores in, in the spring, but for now, they can only be found on Amazon. Let's get this bitch out of the box. And there's a look at the back of the box. It's pretty, and there's a little shark there. So before we look at Heath, we gotta look at what he comes with. Um, so he comes with this little bag, I assume it's a beach bag, uh, has some flames on it, painted zipper, it's kind of whatever. And then we have his little bottle of, um, instead of sunscreen, he uses 30 UV, so I assume that means, like, he absorbs the sun. Which, yeah, makes sense, but I'd rather, instead of this, we got an eye coffin. Because this is, like, Heath's essentially cord all, but he does not get an eye coffin, which is sad, because everyone else has gotten a personalized one. And then we have a little lava eruption drink thing. It's cute. And then we have his sunglasses, which is also orange, and then flames on the arms of him. Yeah, pretty basic stuff. And then when we look at Heath, um, he looks pretty good. You might think that he has a similar sculpt to um, Deuce, but he has a completely new head sculpt. Um, his eyes are very like hexagonal, which people don't like, but it reminds me of Benton Alien Force. If you know, you know. Um, so I personally don't mind it. Kind of, actually, like I kind of like it. Um, yeah, his eyes are orange with a little bit of yellow, and you can see little fire drops, I guess, right there for his eye shines. He has, like, a dark brown 
not a dark brown, but like a medium tone brown lip, dark brown eyebrows. His skin is like a light orange and then his hair is super cool. So it has like this maroon color for like the shaved sides and it's just this fire mohawk. It's so cool. And then it's like painted a little bit of a darker orange and then it's like translucent yellowy orange plastic. So it looks really nice. This is definitely the standout is his hair. So yeah, that's super cool. Um, and then his outfit is pretty simple. It is his show outfit, but turned like slightly modified to fit the beach theme. Um, so yeah, we just have this like cottony blue sweatshirt with flames on it, blue trim right there and a blue hood that does fit over. And then um, we have these shorts, which are made out of a satiny material. Well, on the show, it seems like it would also be made out of this material. Um, there's decorative stitching right there. Uh, and then there's flames also on it. And the reason why it's made out of this material is to mimic like a bathing suit material. And then instead of the cool sneakers that he had, he has um, these little slides. So you could wear them as a core look like every day, but also to the beach. So that they're like, okay, slides, which I don't know, fits his vibe. So I'm not mad at it. They're dark blue and they have flames on them like everything else. And then the bottom has a skullette pattern. So pretty simple and pretty cool. So I will um, put his hood up and sunglasses on so you can see what that looks like. So similar to Cora Laguna, the hood does fit, but it looks kind of stupid because of the hair. Yeah. So there he is next to Claudine, so you can know the height difference. Um, it's the same, he has the same body sculpt as Deuce and Claude. So unfortunately we have not seen a new body sculpt for the boys. <sighs> Hopefully soon. Um, and then I do not have Abby with me, as you can see. So I'll, I'll pose him with Abby for the thumbnail. We'll, uh, we'll just do that. So uh, that's gonna be it. He was $18. I would say that he is worth 15 so $3 markup from his actual worth. Not too shabby, but if, when these start appearing in stores, um, Kohl's typically, like I got my core, uh, like my other two core dolls, or not core dolls, um, day out dolls at Kohl's for like $14 because they had like a little sale. So keep an eye out on there. Uh, so that is it. The so Frame Rating Supreme. I grant you a wonderful, glorious, fantabulous day. Toodles!